Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai or Kia with a 2.4 GDI engine or actually any GDI engine and you have check engine light on and code such as P0172 which indicates rich fuel mixture, stay with us, we'll explain what most likely causes that and how to fix it. It could be something really simple and we're going to explain what it is, make sure it's there until the end. It could be something that can just cost you a few dollars guys and less than 5 minutes to fix it on your own. Before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now uh, if you need to buy any parts to use for your Hyundai Kia for a really good price and quick shipping as well check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from with that being said let's let's explain what we have specifically here 2.4 GDI engine. What that code 172 indicates? It indicates guys that you most likely have rich fuel mixture. So rich fuel mixture, what that means guys? It means that okay you have two scenarios now, two outcomes. One could be the engine is getting more fuel and the same amount of air which indicates into a not balanced fuel mixture and actually rich fuel mixture because you have more fuel the same amount of air which okay indicates rich fuel mixture the other scenario is the same amount of fuel but less air in that case you still have more fuel than the engine needs rich fuel mixture so let's start with the first one more fuel the same amount of air what can cause that guys okay a few simple things one of them okay the high pressure fuel pump okay we have it removed here let me uh, i'm going to grab it here in just a second uh, just to show you okay this one right here that's the high pressure fuel pump that high pressure fuel pump okay is on top of the engine he has a fuel volume regulator that sends a certain amount of fuel to the fuel to the direct fuel injection it's mounted right here so if that pump is malfunctioning that can cause that cold uh, now what else before we continue i almost forgot guys many of you ask us what diagnostics we use here at the shop this is the one we recommend works on hyundai key and almost any car you can think of it's a tool that can pay itself off in one time use practically guys so looking at it now okay uh, i'll put the link in the description of the video below if you want to see where you can get it from and how much it costs but it's a tool that uh, can pay itself off in one time use so definitely recommend it number two except the high pressure fuel pump you have a fuel uh, a fuel pressure sensor on the fuel rail right here and that fuel rail pressure sensor can easily cause that cold as well why because if that sensor is not reading correctly okay your engine computer may be thinking that you need more pressure it will tell the uh, fuel pump to send more fuel and as a result okay your injectors will be spraying more fuel and from there you will result into actually getting a uh, uh, fuel mixture okay that is rich as well number three leaking fuel injector if you want to know what are the symptoms of leaking fuel injector and how to test the fuel injector uh, we have the video on our channel check it out we did it on a bmw but uh, the concept is very close for many vehicles it will tell it will tell you about the symptoms of leaking fuel injector and uh, i think we have a video on hyundai as well if you have a leaking fuel injector it means it's not closing as a result it's putting more fuel in the cylinder and that will be picked by the uh, by the oxygen sensor known as upstream oxygen sensor or bank one sensor one guys right here that's the one that detects if you have a rich or lean fuel mixture so if you have code p0172 guys okay check these things number four it could be even bad oxygen sensor or dirty oxygen sensor that's not reading correctly we have a special video that explains how to test upstream oxygen sensor or bank one sensor one o2 sensor check it out it will be on our channel and it will teach you how to do that bad sensor can be actually sending the wrong information to the engine computer which can result into everything else being fine but just having a bad oxygen sensor now with that being said let's explain what else can lead to that in some cases you may be getting the same amount of fuel but you may be getting okay less air what can cause that it could be restricted airflow in some cases it could be something such as dirty throttle body okay dirty throttle body uh, malfunctioning intake manifold especially the one that you have with the 
integer and valve okay that can cause that as well or in some cases something simple as a dirty air filter the air filter which takes less than five minutes to replace and usually they're less than 10 bucks it could be the reason for that because if the air filter is so plugged up that at high rpms the car cannot get enough air that will result into a rich fuel mixture as well hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time